Welcome to Pins and Things. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a plain old treasure chest into this pirate treasure chest. I actually got this treasure chest at Hobby Lobby. You can find them at Michael's or Joann's or any craft store. And it's just pre-made. I've always, always wanted to buy one and paint it myself. And now I can finally do that. And this treasure chest is specifically going to be used for candy for my kids. I mean, you can hold candy in like a Walmart bag or you can do something amazing with it that you actually want to show off in your house. The first thing I'm doing is dividing the treasure chest into thirds so that I can make two more rows of the thumbtacks to make it look more detailed. Just making sure it's the same on both sides to make a straight line and it just has to be pulled pretty straight and lined up to my different dots. And now I'm gonna make a mark and it's okay to draw on this because we're gonna paint over it anyway. Now I just need to hammer in tacks matching the same tacks that are already in there just on the new lines. Doesn't that look better? I think using a hammer and nails to make a pilot hole to put in the tack after you've already put a hole in is very helpful. I would definitely recommend that. I really think that as much detailing as we can put in this as possible is really gonna help the whole thing to pop. Now I'm warming up my hot glue gun and then we're gonna add on some more details. You can see the shine of where I put the hot glue. Now it's just time to add some detailing to the whole thing and then we can paint. And when we paint this, it's gonna make it look like it's got a lot of old wood. I also think that going with the grain of the wood can sometimes be helpful when I can't think of what lines to make with the hot glue. Okay, it's officially time to paint it black. I'm gonna paint the whole thing black, and then we're gonna go over the top and make the details pop with a different color. Ooh! Now that the black is all dry, I'm gonna go over the top of it with strokes of brown. And this is just an acrylic brown. There's nothing special about it. I do like that it's a matte color, so it's not super shiny or anything. We really want this to look like somebody just dug it out of a hole. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I think the more sporadic, the better. You know what it looks like this is made out of? Dark chocolate and milk chocolate mixed together. Yummy! Now I'm using some painter's tape, and I put that down to make a straight line so that I can paint the parts that have the tacks on them to kind of make it look like there's a strip of gold metal underneath it. Now I'm just making sure to paint all of the metal details so that they pop out from the black color. Are you ready? I already took off these ones. Now it's time to take off the rest of the tape and see how well we did. I actually don't mind if it's not perfect because I feel like this whole box kind of needs to not be perfect. I think that's a straight enough line that I won't need to fix it and I think it looks really cool. There's still half of these like decorational metal pieces that have not been painted the gold color that I needed to. I did paint it with a gold color on this side, but now I need to finish and bring the gold all the way to the end to make sure all the metal pieces are painted gold. And I'm going to paint this half an inch right here all along the side to make sure that it matches up with this piece in the front. Okay, now I'm just finishing up the trim. Okay, it's finally finished. I also painted the inside black because I feel like this is one of those things that's gotta be black on the inside to make it really feel like a treasure chest. The only thing I missed is the bottom. I should paint that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more pirate videos or treasure videos. Speaking of treasure videos, we have a treasure hunt coming soon on the beach house. And if you click over here, you can see more fun videos from me every Tuesday and Saturday. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you guys next time.